Hi guys, um, my name is William Gupton. Y'all might, might not remember me, but I am going to tell you this. I am from the Oz Squad and, we, and the Guptons. So that was me when I was younger, but right now I'm older. I'll be doing something today, and I'll be doing something today, and it's called. WWE Extreme Rules 2022, a pay-per-view match. So I'll tell you who's going to be in those matches. So let's start. Let, I'm going to start off something with this. The official theme song is called "Villain" by Bella by Bella Porsche. So there's our first matchup, an I Quit match. Finn ba Finn ba my ex favorite Finn Balor versus the my ex favorite to my favorite right now Edge. So Edge, so here's our backstory. Edge had an open challenge for WrestleMania. AJ, AJ answered it. Turn he Edge turn heel, and Edge turn heel and. Then they fought at WrestleMania. I was there. And Damien Priest interfered, kind of interfered, just standing there watching him. Edge won that match. And that's when, now, uh, there was just two people. So Finn Balor came, came to help, um, came to help AJ. Yeah, Finn Balor came to help AJ. And it was part two at, at um part two Edge versus AJ Styles. Then then it was someone else. I didn't even know who it was. And I heard and I saw it was Rhea Ripley. And that's when all three people came in the judgment day. And Liv Morgan came along. With Edge, well, I mean, with Finn, AJ Styles, and the Finn and AJ Styles, and it was a six-person tag tag match, a mixed gender match, and it um the Judgment Day won. Then I had a new member. It was Finn Balor. And it was a super heel turn against Damian, Rhea, and Finn. Turn on Edge, their own leader. Now they have a new leader, which was Finn Balor. And Ray, Ray and Dominic had had a feud going on with the Judgment Day. Fought at um, fought at SummerSlam. Then I saw the lights went out. Well, I started this. There was messages coming out of nowhere when I was watching SmackDown and Raw. Even I saw it at Money in the Bank. I was like, "Wait a minute!" My dad told me someone got to be coming back or someone debuting. I was like, "Wait a minute!" It said, "R." It says RKO, Rey Mysterio. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I think it is um the fiend or edge. I was like, let me look at it again. I saw the hair cut. And I was like, yeah, it's edge. I looked at it, then the mesh came the meshes the messages came 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 on on SummerSlam. And I was like, this, this might be the last time they're going to show this. I was like, yeah, it's Edge. I saw the lights went out. Fire rising. And guess who just came back? Edge. There you have it. So it was, um, then I fought again. It was a... It was, a, it was the Judgment Day versus Edge and Ray.
then a low blow by Dominic, clothesline by by um by a uh, clothesline on on Ray by Dominic. A, a son just turned on its own father. Then that's why four people came into the faction. And then Edge was injured, came back two weeks late, about two weeks later. And then in an I quit match, Finn Bal Balor versus Edge. So our next match, it is Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey. An extreme rules match. So I'll show you how we got there. Sorry. So I just do that. I'm just going to disturb you. So this will lead to so this thing started at Money in the Bank. Liv Morgan was in was in that matchup for the contract. And two hours later, excuse me, the former W SmackDown Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey versus Natalia. Ronda Rousey won that match. Liv Morgan cashed in her money in the bank contract. Painter one, two, three. She won the SmackDown Women's Championship. Then Ronda Rousey won her rematch at Smack on SmackDown. She said I was back then. I had so much slim. It's a controversy. I saw. So, Ronda Rousey had her in a submission. While, while, um, while Liv Morgan had her, had her pin. It was one, two. Liv Morgan tapped out and it was three. Controversy. Liv, uh, Ronda Rousey attacked her from the back, and she also put um, a submission on the on the raft. So Ronda Rousey was suspended for a while, probably like four weeks. Then she came back, won a five women gauntlet match for an opportunity at Extreme Rules. So that's how we got there. Oh, hey, by the way, I want um Edge to win that match. I don't care who wins in the match right now. I'm talking about. I would say this. I can say this. I did a prediction match. At, on a WWE 2K22. It was. I would say I said Liv Morgan will win, but I don't care who wins in that match. So continue on our next match. It is a match that I never heard before, but the uh, but two people I ever, that actually heard an MMA fighter, Matt Riddle, now a wrestler, for about like two, I would say two years, versus a Grand Slam champion. Seth Rollins. So after money, after, um, after Hell in the Cell, they both qualify, um, that, um, Seth Rollins qualified in the Money in the Bank match. Matt, Matt Riddle was about to go against, well, I mean, Seth Rollins had a promo. Matt Riddle interfered. To, and then, the match with Matt Riddle versus versus Omos came for the qualifying match at Money in the Bank. Omos won. Then Seth Rollins did stomp. And, and I don't really I like that move, but it's just so but I think they should ban it. It's like it's gonna cause like real injuries.
And let's see what else. Yeah, oh, yeah. After Money in the Bank, it was supposed to be Seth Rollins versus Matt Riddle. So that match was supposed to happen. But Seth Rollins was being him. Stomping on Stomping on Riddle's head. <laughs> Don't take this personally, WWE. I think it's the official's fault. I would say that because one, all the officials should have came out to stop Seth Rollins. This match wouldn't happen. This match wouldn't stop if if y'all would have been if y'all would have been um would have like came out. But it was just in the past. The past is past. But Riddle Riddle came out on SummerSlam. He said, Seth, get your down here and start and fight like a man. Then so they started fighting. Then the officials came out, which they did the right thing. And then a little was injured like more and more. And he came back um before Clash of the Castle. And then Riddle challenged him at Clash of the Castle. Seth Rollins versus Matt Riddle. Seth won that match. And, and Seth Rollins said he's done with Riddle. But he still wanna keep going to get his revenge. Keep going, Matt Riddle. And let's see what else happened. Oh yeah, next week on Raw, it was Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley for his gold for a championship gold for the U.S. champion for the U.S. championship. Riddle interfered. Bobby Lutt won, and then it was Matt Riddle and Ray versus the Judgment Day. Seth Rollins interfered in the match. Then they started fighting backstage and it was like at extreme rules. Then uh, Seth, R- Seth Rollins finally won his rematch against against Matt Riddle. And he said pick the place. He picked the time. At extreme rules and blah blah blah. And Seth Rollins announced the, the match. He said it was a fight pit match. And comment down below tell me who that who what what a, a fight pit match is. So I want Riddle to win, just by the way. Now it is, and it's another championship match. It is, being, is the EST Bianca Belair versus Bailey. So I'll show you how, I'll tell you how we got there. Okay. Oh, at SummerSlam, it was Becky versus Bianca. And Bianca Belair won that match. And I heard someone's music, it was Bailey. Then, like, two more people came, came out. I was like, who is that? It was like Kodakai and Io Sky. Then, well, uh, I will tell you, more, I'll tell you more, I'll tell you like this, Becky got injured by damage control, which is Bailey, EO, and Dakota. And then it was a, a there was a, a rivalry with um, Dakota and EO, and versus um, Alex and, and Oscar, and it was a six women tag match at Extreme Rules. Bianca, Alexa, and Oscar versus Damage Control. And then two weeks later, she, um, Bianca, um, Bailey said, 
I want the Raw Women's Championship in a ladder match at Extreme Rules. And that was it. I want Bianca Belair to win. Let's see. Okay. Now this one, it is... It is this match. Y'all can see. It is an old-fashioned Donnie Book match against the Brawling Brutes versus I the Hyperion. Okay. Backstory time. Sheamus won a, a championship opportunity at Clash of the Castle for the IC title. Sheamus was 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 one. Sheamus won that match against them, and he and he he won. He actually won that um, title too. He never won it, and he would have been a, if he won. He would have been Grand Slam champion. But so I crashed the castle. Everybody went was like, "Yay!" to Sheamus, but boo to Gunther. But my dad wanted Gunther to win. He wanted a bad guy to win, but I wanted to, but I want like a half heel, half good guy to win, because he, cause he's like strong and big. He also good there. I gotta give it to him. But um, good there won, and then they started feuding. They decided to have a, then it was like a six, six uh, man rivalry, and also they're gonna be fighting next week for that. A rematch. I I think it's gonna be good. And they just announced it uh yes last night on on SmackDown. So let's start with this. I think this will be the main event match with Drew McIntyre versus uh Kevin Cross. I mean, by the way, I want Braun and Bruce to win. I can start reminding myself to do that. It is a strat match against Drew McIntyre versus Karrion Cross. So here's how it all started. It was it was Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus, a championship match against Roman Reigns. Uh, at Clash of the Castle, then the rivalry started, and then one week after SummerSlam, it was camp. It was like I was like, "What in the world? Why is it like black and white?" It was like it was a girl just standing there. I was like, "Dang, someone just attacked him. Who was it?" And I said it was Karen Cross. And then this kind of it was like a three man rivalry, obviously. And then Drew McIntyre ended up, um, Rollings ended the rivalry at Clash of the Castle. Drew McIntyre almost won. I didn't even care who win, who who, who won. So. The so Roman Reigns won that match at Clash of the Castle, and now they um I would say yeah a week a week um before last night um Drew McIntyre wanted a match against Karrion Cross the first match ever the first match ever. In a strap match at Extreme Rules, he wanted that match a lot. So that is it. So that is it. My upcoming video is Extreme Rules 2022. I'm gonna be watching it in my mom's room, mom and dad's room, and.
Yeah, I'll be watching in my mom and dad's room because they're going to be watching boxing. I think. I think it'll be a boxing match on. I'll be going back and forth. Be telling people who who, who won. <clears throat> Excuse me. And. And also, here's my upcoming videos. Here's my other upcoming videos. It is. What I've been up to, and all, all about me. Let's get this on. So, yeah. See you guys on, on the 8th. Oh, yeah, by the way, I just want to say happy early birthday, Miz. I don't like you, I don't like you one bit, but I just. Just wanted to say happy birthday, er, happy early birthday to you. So there will be more matches coming up, and I'll tell y'all um, at the kickoff. So that will be it. Talk to you guys uh, next week. Or, yeah, next week.